my drunk. I got a crush on you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back today with a story time. I really wanted to tell you guys the story. I think you guys would find it interesting. Hopefully there isn't much of an echo. I can hear it. Sorry about that, but yeah, as you can see from the title, I was an English teacher at a Korean entertainment company. So let's get into the story. About, gosh, it was over a year ago, I had been contacted and asked if I knew anyone who could teach English to some trainees, like K-pop trainees, and so I was like, um... I'm interested and so I had to send in my resume and so I did that and you know I didn't think I was gonna get it because I just thought like maybe they're looking for you know a certain schedule availability or whatnot but it ended up working out and so I was able to go to this company and meet my students there was about like six to eight girls that I taught twice a week um, and that's a lot of students, especially their levels were all different, so I found it kind of challenging to cater to all their needs and help all of them improve. And mind you, they're all training in like singing and dancing and you know, they're working out. Then they have like photo shoots that they have to do for various different things. So um, I knew that they were also tired. It's very tiring being a trainee and it's not all it seems to be. I definitely learned that from this experience. Um, but when I met the girls, oh, they were the sweetest things ever. And some of them were even on, I think the Protoss 48, I think it was. Whichever one was the last one with the girls. And so three of my students were on that show. Obviously, I'm not going to be specific about like which company they were from or which level they got to because a lot of them were actually in different companies when they were on the show and were ended up being in the same company. So um, yeah, I just, it was crazy teaching them and just seeing like behind the scenes and I always had to go to this one neighborhood that has all the companies. For those of you who have been to Korea, there are areas in Chungdamdong where they have a K-star road and so you get to see those little like bear figures um, from different bands like Miss A, Vix, who else do they got? They had um, DBSK, um, they had like shiny bts bts's little bear guy person is really really popular um really really popular so yeah so i would have to commute there twice a week to teach my girls and it was a lot of fun and then about i don't know how long into it their same company has a boy band that has already debuted they're not like a super duper big group but um a lot of foreigners tend to know who they are so one of their members um one of their managers asked if i could do conversations with one of their members because he wanted to like improve his conversation skills and everything like that so that was really fun they had like um activities so i couldn't tutor them for that long i think we had like three or four lessons together um, but their English was really good because they obviously had lived abroad when they were younger so it wasn't that challenging to speak to them but they were more concerned with like their vocabulary and this and that if you guys only knew you would freak out <laughs> you would freak out at least for some of you that know who this group is um, but yeah so i it was so much fun working with them and whenever i would teach the girls and the members would come in to practice because the floor we were on is where all the little like individual studio rooms are you know where they can like work on whatever skill they need to work on and then like practice rooms there we go they had different like smaller practice rooms connected to like a studio and then upstairs they had like a dance studio and so when i would be teaching the girls sometimes the members would be upstairs practicing and we could like hear music um, i couldn't hear exactly what song it was but yeah they would be practicing upstairs and whenever he would pass my class when i was teaching the girls he would make the effort to say hello to me and i was like oh thanks 
<laughs> I don't get to teach you anymore, but the fact that like you take the time to say hi to your like former tutor, see, it was really cool to me. I, I appreciated that. And uh, some of the members also liked him as like their favorite member from that group. And obviously it's their sunbae, right? They're seniors in the company. So um, when they would see that member take the time to say hi to me, they're like, oh my God, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> So yeah, that was that was really cool. Um, yeah, and we would do like various different activities. Like I would print out worksheets. I would walk to Kinko's by my house and I would print that, like the different activities for them. I would also ask them what it is that they wanted to learn. You know, maybe there were sayings or if they went shopping or if they went to a hotel in a foreign country, like things like that. And we also just got to talk about everyday stuff like they would ask things about me or i would ask things about them it was so much fun so 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 much fun and i really missed them because ever since the whole rona thing happened um they had to cut back on my classes so i didn't get to teach them anymore but i taught them for almost a year like literally two months so like 10 months i taught them and i had so much fun it was literally a once in a lifetime opportunity i never would have expected something like that and to just see them taking this time out of their you know some of them are young adults some of them are teenagers and just to see how much dedication they would put towards their dreams it makes me sad that you know it has to be probably pushed back because of everything that that's been going on i heard a lot of companies are like letting go of their trainees because of everything and i really hope that didn't happen to them because they were so good and i just i wouldn't want them to have their dreams just like shattered like that so i really 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 hope you know that it works out for the best and that i do get to see them one day on tv and one of these music shows and i told them i was like don't forget me when y'all become famous and i'm like hey it's your teacher miss Yvonne. they're not like who what it's me so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys just because i was thinking about them and missing them and you know i'm not allowed to like contact them just because that's kind of like what comes with the territory of being a trainee you're not supposed to just like contact them whenever you want unless you're obviously family or staff members so before like if it was teacher's day if it was my birthday they would message me and when it was their birthdays i would message, message them so i i really miss that but i just wanted to share that experience with you guys to let you know that i did have that kind of experience um I wish I could tell you more, but obviously I don't want to get in trouble or anything like that. And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this small story time. And if you have any requests for videos, please let me know down below. I do get a lot of makeup tutorial requests, but the problem is many people don't watch it. And so it makes me sad because makeup videos take a lot of time, you know, between like your base and all of this. And it takes a lot of space on my memory card. So it's just unfortunate that like if I do make a get ready with me many people don't watch it and I want to make videos that you guys will enjoy watching and actually take the time to watch and also videos that I enjoy making because this is fun for me it's a nice escape from everything so yeah let me know down below a lot of people on Instagram told me they want more vlogs like fashion stuff makeup maybe cooking I would love to do a lot of those things, even like cafe hopping, but here in Korea, the numbers have gone up with Miss Rona again. So a lot of things are being closed and schools are going online. I'm currently online anyways. I still commute to work to teach, but I teach online on a computer. I know, confusing. But yeah, let me know down below what would you like to see and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to turn on your post notifications to not personalize but all subscribe like this video so youtube's algorithm can give your girl a chance to get her videos out there and i will see you guys in my next video bye annyeong tom of the wild Ooh, now i need a thumbnail yo